Hey y'all, it's Jamie Dean. I'm here in Mom's Kitchen again. Mom is visiting the restaurant in Foley, Alabama and Panama City, Florida this week. So I'm excited I get to come cook for y'all. Mom's new countertop is in. Black is a perfect color because it will show every grain of salt and speck of stuff that you have on your counter. But it's my mama's house, she can do what she wants. Today, y'all, I'm doing a really good roasted mayonnaise chicken. Mayonnaise chicken is probably, and I say this, maybe too much. This recipe, we cook a ton at our house because it's so simple and it's so delicious. Did y'all know that if you put mayonnaise over chicken, it browns it beautifully? It's egg yolk, it's got flour, not flour, oil. It's really good, it gives a good flavor, and it's beautiful when it's done. You put it on the grill, or if you do what we're doing today and you put it in the oven. So I've got three chicken breasts that I'm kind of patted dry a little bit, and our topping, this is a little bit more fancy than what we do at our house. We, I'll start with what we do. We use about a cup and a half of mayonnaise, and this is an important part. We're gonna use the zest from two lemons. And I went ahead and got started since it was two. So I use every bit of that zest. Now we've got some salt going in here, and we've got pepper in here. Now this is where this recipe varies just a little bit. We're gonna add celery seeds. We've also got a little bit of paprika and just a pinch of cayenne pepper, which is gonna equal maybe two dashes. Super, super easy. We're gonna mix all this together. Look at all these colors and this texture and flavor. Roasted chicken is, with, Traditionally chicken, you know, everything's a little bit higher now, but chicken is a more affordable dish. It's a really good lean protein for your family. And so it's so healthy that why don't we cover it with mayonnaise? Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna transfer this stuff over. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll put this together and get it in the oven. Okay, y'all, I'm also gonna take time to season this chicken a little bit on its own. I love this big salt, we've got some pepper going on here, and now with our mayonnaise mixture. But y'all do this, see? I've got three chicken breasts, so I'm gonna mentally figure out about what a third of this is for each one. Pop it right on the top. That's one third, two thirds, and then a whole. Now I've been practicing that a long time, so don't get disappointed if you've gotta steal a little bit from one and add to the other. This is gonna cook on and drip down, so I'm gonna to try to cover this top surface area as best as I can. Ooh, and you know what else would be good about with this? Take you a piece of bacon and wrap it around the chicken this way. Ooh, and let all these flavors cook down and mingle that bacon in. That's a different recipe, we're not doing that one today. This is it, going in the oven at 150 degrees. Y'all be sure and check your internal temperature. You wanna be up to 165 to ensure that You've cooked all the bad stuff out of there. Probably about, I'd say 25 minutes on these chicken breasts in the oven. Y'all stick around and when we get done, we're gonna eat it. Okay, y'all, it really was right at 25 minutes for our chicken. And I know you're gonna say, oh, Jamie, you burned that chicken. Oh, no, I didn't. That's the mayonnaise. See how juicy this chicken is? Really get yourself a, a thermometer that you can check your meat, because if you can, cook it to 165 and not overcook it, the juice that comes out of your chicken. Mmm. Look how juicy this chicken is. And oh, our, look at that. And with our mayonnaise on top, it really browns quickly, but this is just all flavor there. None of this is burnt. I promise you. So for this chicken, you could do it with rice and gravy and steamed broccoli. That's kind of our size that we do it with. But this is perfect chopped up on a little salad. You eat a little bit of mayonnaise, fatten it up a little bit, then you lighten it down a little bit by eating it with lettuce. Mm. I'm Jamie Dean. This is Good Food. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see y'all around the kitchen. Mm. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.